Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 1352. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Chart of Inner Control Particular Examine Unity with the Merciful Christ Because I am united to Jesus, I must be faithful always and everywhere, and I must be interiorly united with the Lord, while exteriorly observing fidelity to the rule, particularly that of silence. November Victories, 53. Defeats, 2. December, victories, 104. January, victories, 78. Defeats, 1. February, victories, 59. Defeats, 1. March, victories, 50. April, victories, 61. May, June, July, August, September, October. When I hesitate on how to act in some situations, I always ask love. It advises best. General Examine of Conscience Victories Commandments of God Vows Poverty February 9 Vows Chastity February 7 Vows Obedience December 27, February 7. Rules, December 7. Love of Neighbor, November 38, December 17, January 73, February 35, March 30, April 20. Humility, November 7, December 39, January 23, February 34, March 56, April 25, Patience, November 23, December 56, January 50, February 17, March 80, April 50, Silence, November 11, December 45, January 37, February 28, March 37, April 20, Neighbors, Good Name, December 15, January 25, February 3, March 1, Holy Mass and Holy Communion, November 17, December 12, January 13, February 7, April 10, Meditation, November 6, December 5, February 10, Particular Examine, November 7, December 5, January 11, Attitude Towards God, and Confessor, November 5, February 5, Superiors, November 7, Sisters, and Students, December 4, January 7, Laypersons, November 20, December 2, October 25, 1937, Defeats, Love of Neighbor, one each in November, December, and January, Humility, two in November, three in December, one in January, one in February, six in March. Neighbor's Good Name, One Defeat in November. Holy Mass, Six in November, Two in December, One in January, and Twelve in February. And Holy Communion, One in December. Particular Examine, One in November, Superiors, one in November, one in December. Attitude toward laypersons, two in November, one in December. 
During her annual retreat, St. Faustina keeps a chart of inner control, which was the custom of the sisters of her congregation. They would keep a written record of their interior victories and failures. How did they do it? Well, there was most probably the practice of the examine of conscience twice a day. At midday, they would do a particular examine, looking at how they were growing in a particular virtue or practice. They would usually work on one virtue every month. They could also examine if they had fallen into the vice, which was the opposite of that virtue. In the evening, they would probably do a general examine of conscience, not just concentrating on one virtue or vice, but on the day in general and what progress they had made in the spiritual life that day or what they had failed to do. They would then jot down victories and failures each day and add them up at the end of the month. This seems to be an inventory that Sister Faustina is doing on the end of one year and the beginning of the next year, and she's doing it on the occasion of her annual retreat. Growing in holiness is a grace from God, but it also requires our cooperation. Just like an athlete in training, we need to be somewhat systematic in our seeking to grow in holiness. We won't become saints by accident. In her particular examine, in which she seeks to be in Internally united to the Lord each day, while externally observing the rule, especially silence, St. Faustina reco- recorded far more successes than failures. In her general examine of conscience, she also records far more victories than failures. Let's keep striving to cooperate with God's grace. A daily examine of conscience, especially in the evening, is a very helpful spiritual practice.